So the way that I like to keep the types of abortion organized in my head is through an analogy. Um, that is considered that you are visiting a dear friend of yours and uh, you are at their gate. Now, what else would be worse than finding out that your friend is perhaps not at home, right? Or they are asleep or perhaps you find them at the gate just about to leave for some other place. So now all of your effort could, um, like, to meet them could go in vain. But the good thing for us is that we can try and get an idea by looking at the gates of their home, right? And if the main gate is closed, we are most likely in luck because our friend is probably at home. And uh, another possibility is that uh, even if the gates are closed, but you see like fumes from their car, there's a threat that they were probably about to leave. But we caught them um, at the right time. And uh, so you try and negotiate with them if leaving is like such a good idea. The third possibility is that your friend is asleep, right? They are heavy sleepers or perhaps they're dead. <laughs> so you call them, but they miss all of your calls. This is not good news, okay? Because in this case, you are likely to leave. And uh, the fourth possibility is the worst of the bunch. In this case, the gates are closed, but there is no car at home, right? Just fumes um, left from their engines. Um, so as you can guess, your friend is probably out partying with someone else uh, after abandoning you. <laughs> okay, so keep this paradigm in mind as we try and think of the last two possibilities. So you can reach your friend's main gate to find that the door is open, right? Their car is in the garage with the ignition on. It is perhaps really difficult to convince them now to get back, understandably. So their exit, you could say, is inevitable, right? They are still in their homes, but it is highly unlikely that they will stay for you. Another possibility would be if that uh, if their car was now halfway outside, say, on the ramps. As you can guess, they are now leaving. They will, uh, they will listen to no one because they are almost completely out of their homes or um, incompletely in their homes, right? Um, emphasis on these wordings as we move forward. So now before becoming like furious with your friend, you should consider that your friend is a fetus, okay? Uh, and that too before 20 weeks of gestation. How cute. So the house represents, uh, in our case, uh, the mother. The gate represents the os, and the fetus is the friend, right? So let's try and organize the types of abortion into uh, either gate open or gate closed. And uh, let's track back to the first case. So the gates are closed and your friend is awake inside the house. This, is re this uh, represents uh, normal pregnancy, okay? Uh, the os is closed and the fetus is alive, hooray, okay. The next case, the gate is closed, but you see fumes, okay. The os is closed, but you see blood. Uh, the fumes from the car, um, in this case, represents the blood. So you could say that there is a threat to the fetus at any moment. It will eject from the mother's body, right? This is threatened abortion. Will there be products of conception? No because your friend is like still chilling in the garage. And what will we find on ultrasound? Well, we will find our friend and they will have cardiac activity. Uh, this is known as threatened abortion. Okay, moving on. Now, what if our friend is asleep slash dead? In our case, uh, the fetus will have no cardiac activity. The gates or os uh, were also closed. Uh, they were missing our calls. So this, uh, the missing our calls should remind you that this is missed abortion, right? Uh, they were sleeping or dead um, and there are no fumes. So they won't have any, uh, the mother won't have any vaginal bleeding now. Now, will there be like products of conception at the uh, vagina? No, uh, because our friend is in their house, uh, that is the uterus. And will we be able to see them on ultrasound? Yes, but they won't have like a lot of cardiac activity. 
Okay, so the last type is closed uh, OS category. Um, in the closed OS category is like the complete abortion. This is where the fetus has been completely expelled from the uterus. And we will see like vaginal bleeding uh, fumes with the like analogy of the car. And uh, what about the contents of the OS? We will have no contents, right? And uh, what about the ultrasound? No fetus will be visible on ultrasound, if you could guess. Okay, so on to abortions with the uh, open OS. So our friend's inevitable demise from the garage is the inevitable abortion. Um, here we will see the vaginal bleeding. There will be no contents at the OS. Uh, as you can probably guess, the like remember that the car is inside the house here and the fetus is like behind the OS. Um, so um, what about like the ultrasound? The ultrasound will show, yeah, it will show a fetus. Uh, with or sometimes even without the cardiac activity okay and the last one is incomplete abortion so incomplete abortion will also have vaginal bleeding uh, but with an open os right however there will be um, fetal contents at the os and uh, this is like the primary differentiating factor from inevitable abortion where there were no contents at the os and recall how the car was uh, at the ramp so it's like partially um, partially inside and partially outside and lastly on ultrasound um, you will see retained fetal parts um, because obviously the car is incompletely out of the house as I already mentioned so you will see some contents in the OS and some on like, the ultrasound inside the uterus so now uh, putting everything together let's have a bird's eye view of all the types of abortion the only abortion without vaginal bleeding is missed abortion. Now, these are like clinical pearls for, for USMLE step to seek here. Uh, and the only two abortion with the passage of contents are incomplete and complete abortion. Another one would be uh, the only abortion type without a fetus is complete abortion. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one.